Hi, so we get a lot of questions about what's the best way to share the CO2 readings with the public in real time. Our answer to this is the Aranet Public CO2 Monitor. The Aranet Public CO2 Monitor is basically a public URL that you generate that lets you share the air quality information directly with anyone. The access to the monitor data does not require authentication and you can just view it from any internet browser. So how can you create a new RNet public CO2 monitor? To use this function, you will need to purchase a public monitor's license. If you have purchased the license, go to the monitoring section. Let's start with the configuration tab. This is the place where you can see and set the values for yellow and red color alarm thresholds. You can define your custom levels for all monitors. To create a new CO2 monitor, go to Monitors tab, click on New Monitor and under Source select the sensor whose data you would want to share. Then name your monitor. Next, you can choose if you would like to show the historical measurement chart. You can select the historic measurement period that is going to be reflected in your chart. Select whichever you prefer. Let's select 24 hours for now. Finally, select the visibility of your monitor, whether you want a public web link or not. I'm going to make this public. When you have selected everything and are happy with your choices, click Create. So now let's check what we see in the public CO2 monitor view. First, the color as well as the emoji is going to indicate if the air quality in the room is good, average or unhealthy according to thresholds selected in the configuration tab. Below that, you also see the PPM, parts per million value of the last sensor CO2 measurement. The screen also shows the last measurement date and time. The monitors you create can be used as tiles and displayed in the dashboards. Now all that is left is to copy the generated link and simply share it with the public. We can check it now by clicking on the link, our beautiful CO2 monitor will open in a new browser tab. And if, for any reason, you decide to stop sharing your tile with the public, just change the monitor to internal. That's all for today. I hope that you enjoy these minisodes and see you in the next one.